My name is Dr. Rajiv Gupta. I am the Principal Secretary of the Climate Change Department in the state of Gujarat in India. This is the only climate change department of the country and not only of India but in the whole of Asia we have only one state government that is Gujarat to have constituted a separate and dedicated department of climate change. I am here to attend this conference, Water in the Green Economy and to present a case study of Gujarat. Gujarat is located in the westernmost corner of India. It has almost 60 million people and 5.96% of geographical area of India. There was a time in Gujarat when water used to be very scarce. In fact, the water used to be transported in trains and tankers from water surplus parts of Gujarat to water scarce parts of Gujarat. There was a time when there used to be overdrafting of groundwater to such an extent that even water mining used to take place. There was a time when millions of hours of drudgery used to be inflicted on women, rural women, just to fetch water from a few kilometers located away from their homes. Now the whole situation has changed because in the last 10 years, we have established a statewide water grid, providing almost 1,987 1 kilometers of bulk water pipelines, 115,000 kilometers of distribution pipelines, more than 10,000 water filtration and other water harvesting and treatment uh, sources. And therefore, therefore, we are providing almost 2,250 million liters of water every day, which is treated, potable, and drinkable to almost 65% population of the state. Now, creation of this state water grid has been a major technological intervention which has solved largely the problems of drinking water in the state. We have complemented this by interbasin transfer of surface water by a major project which is known as Sadar Sarovar project. Now this project is aimed to irrigate almost 1.9 million hectares of land and provide 1450 megawatts of clean hydropower. This project is again complemented by creation of almost 350,000 micro water harvesting in, uh, structures. Therefore, when we say small is beautiful, the big is also beautiful in the state of Gujarat because we have balanced the large scale transfer of water by major water resources development project with micro water harvesting through a number of hundreds of thousands of micro water harvesting structures. This again, we have complemented by creation of capacity building for water resource uh, management and for water distribution. In the villages, we have created 16,000 water management organizations, which are known as distribution committees, which are headed by mostly women for recovery of water charges. Now, this water and sanitation management organization, that we call, is a paradigm shift from the role of state as a provider to a facilitator of water management. So these initiatives, both in introduction of technology, in creation of capacities, by creating these structures has been a unique experiment in last 10 years in the state of Gujarat, which I've come here to share. At the same time, I also look forward to understanding some better water management practices being adopted, being implemented in other parts of the world, in Asia, in Latin America, and other parts of the world. So this conference is a very unique event by inviting almost 80 water management experts from different parts of the country, uh, different parts of the globe, and also sharing their practices, sharing their experiences, sharing their technologies in a very uh, homogeneous in a very cooperative atmosphere. So I compliment all the agencies, the UN Water, the Government of Aragon, and all other host of agencies who have been involved in the cooperation and creation of this event. Thank you.